Okay, Ketza did not win Das Deutsche Final. You gotta move, babe. You gotta move. Mikey, I gotta react. I gotta react to Germany, baby boy. You're usually always on the run. Here, go up here. Go up there. There you go. Hello, meine Damen und Herren. It is William Calling from We We Vlogs. Isaac has won Das Deutsche Finale 2024 with the song Always on the Run. This has been a really big talking point and I think we need to watch his live performance and react. Are you ready? Let's do this! All right, Isaac was both the jury winner and the televote winner, so the clear winner of the contest. Hi y'all, it's Suzanne and Ducky Doo. Hitting play. It kind of sounds like Michael Jackson as he opens up. Very casually dressed. Man of the people. He can sing. Here we go. All right, there is like a little it's Michael a beat. Jackson beat with the, now we've got the universe coming at us. I like the black fingernails. I like his voice. There's really not any staging. That voice though, this man can sing. Always on the run. Run, 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 run. Um, this feels familiar, like we've heard it many times before, but it's performed well. This is very conflicting. It's uh, there's a lack of self love in this song. It's not really going in a new direction, though. It, it's very one note, like... Isaac seems like he is a cool guy, just really sweet. We know where it's going. Keep my head up. Like, I literally just heard it, and I know where it's going. The chorus is nice. Haunted by the voices. It's just looping. We literally just heard this. And our man has not moved from the center of the stage. This kind of makes me sad, y'all. <sighs> He's into it. Very vulnerable, very fragile. Huh, I think in this section he needs to breathe a bit more. And we're back to where we started. I am running in a circle. Always on the run in a circle. What am I fighting for? You're fighting for yourself, man. Good emotional delivery. Look, yeah, well done you. Isaac can sing. Look, no one questions. No one questions. Isaac can sing. I think the question is, why do you have to sing that? This feels like a song we've heard multiple times on X Factor, on The Voice, on the radio, on... It's just another shade of beige. And... I don't want to be mean, because I think there are merits here. The voice is incredible. The, I, I like the beat. I just wish the song was more dynamic. It feels like we're running in a circle. And Germany at Eurovision is also running in a circle. And that's because in their national selection, they give us various shades of beige. And so then you decide based on some other criteria. 
I mean, honestly, since 2019, like 2019 had some good songs. I mean, you had Ali Ryan, Makeda was so good. You had Lily, Lily Among Clouds. I mean, you had options. But since then, it's really been one flavor, vanilla. I'm not even, not even Madagascan vanilla, like the vanilla you get in the grocery store on discount. It's just a country of what, 88 million people? There are a lot of people in Germany, a lot of songwriters. Yeah, they all seem to write the same song. I just, it's as Debin Adirimi, my colleague, said, in the national selection, all the songs seem to come from one person's playlist. It was like, the range was like, sorry, getting back to this. Isaac is the boy next door, right? He looks like he stepped out of H&M. Like, there is no costume and there is no staging. They literally, they told the singer, stand in place and sing. And I guess that's fine for Germany, for the German national selection, but at Eurovision, if you don't want to come last, you're gonna have to up the game. You're gonna have to give us some staging. You're gonna have to give us some movement. You're gonna have to give us an LED or something. On Wee Wee Blogs, a very generous, whoever wrote, Lucy wrote this post, and you, you did the social media, very generously said there was a cyber cityscape behind him. I don't see a cyber cityscape. I see some blocks. I see some rectangles. I see some... It, this is just really done on a dime, and it's crazy because there was some great staging, actually, in the German final. Ah, uh, he knows that he really did a great job on stage there at the end when, when he closes. So this song makes me really sad. Um, there seems to be a lack of self-love. There seem to be a lot of conflicting feelings, and it's as though this this protagonist in this song just doesn't feel like they're enough. Um, I'm going under, no one gives a shit about what's to come. So it's almost as though he feels like no one cares about him. He doesn't feel like he's getting strider, stronger. He's always on the run, but he's never done. So it's as though he's got this goal, this dream that he's trying to achieve or this place that he wants to go and he just can't get there because he's lost in his own identity. And so this does seem to be a little bit of an identity crisis. And again, he, he doesn't know who he is and there's a, a lack of self-love here in the song. Not Isaac himself, but the protagonist in the song. Um, all I do is keep my head up. So it's as though he feels, again, I can't keep pace. I'm not good enough. Haunted by the voices deep within. Um, gosh, some, you know, going back to childhood, think about those voices that run in our head from childhood. They run deep and they are strong. And my God, sometimes it takes a lot of therapy to get past them. And then some of us, well, we just write a book about it, right? All right, let's see. Always on the run. Run from the silence, screaming for guidance. And you know, sometimes when we feel all alone, the silence can be deafening. So I, I, I feel like I just want to reach out and give him a hug and say, let me be your friend. Um, because when we're alone, that silence, it just, it is deafening. And it's almost like this horrible thumping around us. Who am I fighting for? You are 100% fighting for yourself. And yes, you can do this. You can keep going. Um, sick and tired, can't do this anymore. Gosh, this is, um, the song just, it makes me sad. I feel like there's a lot of folks out there, youth or young adults in particular, with whom this song will really, really resonate. And what I would say here is, y'all, here you got this awesome guy singing the song. He's going to sing it on the Eurovision stage. And if this is how he felt at one point in time, well, look at him now. He owned that stage. Um... I can't say that I love this entry. Um, it has a little bit of a, a Michael Rice, uh, a Marius Bear feel to me, where you've got an artist who is just so likable and just so passionate, um, but maybe the song is not quite going to get them there. Nonetheless, um, Germany has had a few not so great years, even though they've had really great artists. And um, I am wishing Isaac so much luck. Yeah, I do worry this is a last place contender. You know, if this was a vocal contest, this would not be near last place. But this is a song contest. Song contest. And that's where the issue lies. Mm. 
this gives me the vibes of sort of James Newman UK, Michael Rice UK. It's and they're also great singers, but the entry, the entry did not elevate, you know, showcase their talent in a better way. That's the common thread here. I want to read some comments from the WeWe Blogs website. Teddy says, Why is Germany so consistently and persistently mediocre? Germany's entrant is dressed to go to the supermarket, singing his bland mid-tempo song before heading off to Lidl. What on earth is even going on in that country? Teddy says, It's not a bad song, not at all. It's just that it doesn't do anything. It goes nowhere, doesn't move anyone. Andrew Brown writes, agree. Good vocalist, but like most here, I think I would have preferred Rick's song. Time will tell for Isaac. He does have undertones of rag and bone man, which is positive. Yeah, this is very soulful. This performance is very soulful. Like everything I like about this song has to do with Isaac and his voice. And actually the freedom of, he is free, the freedom of performance. He gives you emotion, right? He clearly has a quirky personality and a unique style, the black fingernails, the jewelry, you know, he has stuff to offer. It's just everything around him. And then the song he's singing, Alex C writes, Germany are the champions of generic and average. Non says, oh no, says, it's okay, Germany. Thanks for filling the bottom five spot in the final. Mark Dowd says, out of the embers, you and I gonna light up last place. New York City Forever writes, I'm dying of laughter. Germany keeps being stable, ruining its chances again for any decent placing. Zero points are waiting for you, LOL. And Roy Moreno writes, when I saw all the negative comments from classic Eurovision fans, I expected to hear a bad entry. That song is actually quite nice. The chorus is fun and catchy. He's got a great voice, definitely needs decent staging, but the potential is there. Will he end last? There's always a chance, but why are we hating on this entry? I could see this becoming a very big hit in Germany. I think that this is a song that feels very familiar and in that sense is comforting and pleasant. So if you are at little you know, if you're getting your groceries and this comes on, you'll put your mango in your cart, you'll put your raspberries, you know, you'll put your frozen pizza and you'll be bobbing along. It could become a huge domestic hit, get lots of radio play, but that doesn't mean that people will feel inspired enough to pick up their phone at Eurovision and vote. And I think that's a problem with Germany. They never send songs, well, lately, they don't send songs that motivate you enough to pick up the phone. That requires effort. It just becomes filler. Germany, German songs often become filler. And I hate to say that because they've had some great entries. Lena, oh my God. Mikhail Schulte, oh my God. But yeah, things have just gotten really one note and one flavor. Hey, but look, you know what? Malik Harris came last and his song went on to be a huge hit. So Isaac can still use this to slay. Isaac can still use this to go far. Um, yeah, and I hope he does, because he's a real talent. That's all we've got. We will see you later, but not before we remind you to like, follow, subscribe, read, listen, comment, share, all of that stuff. All right, that's all we've got. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you always on the run from Germany at Eurovision? Let us know here on WeWe Blogs, and we'll see you later. Bye.